So in this tutorial we're going to cover uh, colour correcting a JPEG image. I get a lot of people say to me that they've done a shoot in JPEG and they've got the pictures back and the colour balance is off and they've got the white balance wrong and their images are ruined because they're all red or green or blue and they can't fix it no matter what they've tried. Um, well I'm here to tell you that that's a lot of rubbish and you can fix it and it's two second fix. It's a couple of clicks of the button once you've done it a few times. And uh, so let's just get on with it. I mean you can see this picture of mine. I did a white balance and when I got them back a few of the pictures were a bit off like this one is probably caused by a strobe just not not being you know perfectly straight with me every time it, it took the shot either that or I possibly knocked a scent I don't know but for whatever reason I got back from the studio and uh, a few of the pictures had this red cast so I'm going to get rid of it with a, with a thing called a photo filter now it's dead simple all we do is if we look up here we can see on our picture that we've got uh, a lot of red in the picture which you can see around the model the model's arms on her outfit it's all a bit red we can see that but we're going to trust the histogram because it, it, its eyes are better than ours and we've got a load of red up here so to get rid of that we need what we're going to do is we're going to suck that red away by adding into it what's missing now the opposite of red is blue or cyan actually so we're going to get rid of that simply by adding some cyan into it using the photo filter so we open up the adjustment layers we go into photo filter it's set default to a warming filter we don't want that we just ignore that we drop down menu go to cyan Take it all off because it's put far too much on. Now we're just going to add add a bit of cyan in here. If you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and use the arrow up key, we'll put 10% on. Look at that. Nearly all red and nearly all that red's gone. You can see on the histogram, it's nearly gone. And you can see on the picture itself, it's nearly gone. We're creating a little bit of magenta, but I'm not worried about that because we can get rid of that after. Uh, we're just going to gently go up a few more percent by letting go of the shift key and just using the arrow up key. And you can see... Let's, let me just go a little bit too far. What, what happens if you put too much in? We end up with a big dollop of blue, which we don't want. We just want to ease that back a little bit. So we're just... All the red's just about gone. But we're not adding any blue in. That's, that's about red there, 14%. I'm happy with that. Click that. Now you can see if we turn the eye on and off, we're massive, massive, massive difference that's made. Look at her outfit, look at the skin, look at the background, look at the histogram. That's all you need to know. Now we created a little bit of magenta in there by adding that blue into the red, so the cyan into the red. So to get rid of that, we just do the same thing again. We're going to another photo filter. This time we're just going to add some green in to get rid of the cyan, opposite of cyan. You only want three or four percent, I would imagine. Two, three. Yeah, that's a little bit too much because we've got a little bit of green and cyan coming in there. So if you just go back a percent, click OK. If this time, if you watch the model's skin mainly, you'll see a difference. See, it's quite orange. We add the cyan in, the orange goes a little. And we've now, if you look at the histogram and look at the picture, we've eliminated the whole horrible red cast that we started with by two clicks of the button. We'll click photo, filter, we add some cyan. Be careful with the percentage, just add it as you go. So you're happy, keep an eye on the histogram. We created a little bit of magenta, which we didn't want, so again, we just put the green in to get rid of that. Bang, that's gone. And it's taken us 30 seconds, and all we've done is completely and utterly changed our picture, and it's now colour correctly balanced, just like it would have been if the strobe had gone off right or if the settings had been right. And you can do that with any colour and almost any extremes of colour. And that's how we colour correct a JPEG.